tonight from Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. It's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Patriots versus Matt Ryan and the Atlanta Falcons. It is a chilly night here in the northeastern U.S., but we've got some football to keep us warm at Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. A moment ago, the pride of Massachusetts, the Patriots, introduced to this, as always, sold-out crowd as they get set to go head-to-head -head with the Atlanta Falcons. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. On the return, it's Taylor. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. So here comes the Patriots offense led by number one, their new quarterback for 2020. That, of course, Cam Newton. And when he's at the top of his game, you see that big smile. That's when you know everything is clicking. I mean, he's accurate throwing the football. They can't get him down in the run game, and his team is having a whole lot of fun because when they score a touchdown, some fan's going to get lucky and get the game ball. Sony Michelle, his first carry. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. Sony Michelle. That's good. And that one heck of a run right there. Once he got loose, you could tell that he was going to run a long way. That was pretty impressive. And first and foremost, this is all about vision. He could see the play developing right in front of him. And once he's past the line of scrimmage and got a full head of steam behind him, he's just going to keep right on going. And according to Next Gen Stats, his top speed on that one, better than 20 miles an hour. So quickly, all the way up at the 40-yard line. Keeping it on the ground on first, Michelle. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Decided to hit it off that time on the run-pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice, steady game. They'll run with a former Super Bowl hero. It's James White. Trying to get out wide, but he's going to be tackled right near the line of scrimmage. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. And able to pick up the first across midfield to the 47. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. Defense had a chance to get off the field here in the opening drive, couldn't do it. I know that we go into these meetings with coaches and sometimes maybe we can get, you know, a little bit numb because they're always going to talk about how important third down is, aren't they? Offense and defense. In this case, one capitalized and the other, as you said, had a chance to get off the field and didn't get it done. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10 at the 47. They'll try the air now with Newton. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. 14 yards is the pickup there and a New England first down. They will run with White out of the shotgun. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. Two yards the loss, second and 12. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. 
The seventh play now of this opening drive. This is third and long, though. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. That would be good for 13 and a New England first down. Even though New England doesn't play the NFC South that often, Cam Newton very familiar with his defense, of course, as he played against them twice a year from 2011 all the way through 2019 as a member of the Carolina Panthers. down here's white he's to the 10 and he'll take it into the end zone for a patriot touchdown a 23 yard run and the patriots drive right down the field and score on the opening drive quite the drive there to get things started they took up the bulk of the first quarter and they end up in the end zone and i love your last point Ended up in the end zone. Because a lot of teams like those long drives, especially to keep their offense off the field, right? Keep the ball away from them. But they finished it with a touchdown. That's the exclamation point. Now flip it over defensively. They've got to slow that down somehow, right? Maybe they need to be a little more aggressive. Maybe a few more pressures towards the quarterback. Full connects on the extra point. And that makes the score 7-0. Kick it away after the touchdown. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. Matt Ryan, the longtime Falcon, a veteran who's been in the league since 08, ready to guide this Atlanta offense. This past offseason was one where the Atlanta organization continued to build around their quarterback, Matt Ryan, because he can still throw the rock. Fifth in the NFL in passing yards last year with better than 4,400. He's a guy who knows how to get the ball to his guys on the perimeter and take care of it, even when he's under duress in the pocket. Sacked 48 times last year. Now the first carry here for Todd Gurley. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Lawrence Guy able to bring him down. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Now Ryan airing it out, looking for Ridley. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. On third down, Ryan airing it out, looking for Ridley. And it's intercepted. Picked off by the all-pro, Stephon Gilmore. And he will be brought down, but he's got the interception on a final play of this first quarter. After one. 7-0 on EA Sports. Falcons, nothing. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. This offense, thankful, I'm sure, to have the football back, but also, Charles, after a long drive of their own, they've got to be a little weary. Yeah, I would agree with that, and what you have to do to combat it, try and get fresh legs in where you can, especially the skill positions. And then for the offensive line, instead of attacking, maybe slow the tempo down a little bit, let them catch their breath. His first carry of their second drive, pretty solid. And, of course, remember back to their first drive, Really strong throughout that one. Not only is he getting good blocking up front, but how about his vision to find the holes? And he's seeing things before they even open and hurtling through them. They stay on the ground. This time it's Michelle. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. This defense is really flown around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get his running game going. He's going to look deep down the field. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Demir Bird, the intended receiver, and it's third down. Out of the gun, Newton. And that is incomplete. Now that's a good bounce back after giving up a touchdown on the opening drive. Just one first down permitted and then out. Obviously no loss of confidence with that defense. And now they get to turn it back to their offense. Now the second year punter, Jake Bailey, on for New England. As he's on to punt for the first time tonight. 
And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. And that one hits a little too close to the goal line, and it continues into the end zone for a touchback. So for the second time in this one, we get set to see the Falcons offense. They had the interception last time. It led to the opening touchdown. So now 7-0 the score as they start first and 10. They'll try and start the drive with Gurley. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground, but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. From the 22, Ryan. Got his man, that's the Pro Bowler, Julio Jones. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 16 yards, a first down. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. When halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. Ryan able to get this to Gurley. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. It's now second and six. Out of the gun, it's Ryan. He completes this to Russell Gage. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. That one, a first down pickup of eight. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. The 46 yard line. Four yards on the pickup. Second down six. Throwing again. Ryan. Short throw underneath to Hurst. That was a nice throw out there to the flat, but they defended that pretty well. The hope is to go ahead and put it on him, take a turn and get upfield and gain additional yardage. It just wasn't anywhere to go on that play. This one caught by Ridley, and he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Again, Ryan. They'll drop this underneath to Gurley. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by J.C. Jackson. J.C. Jackson. Take that! Ryan. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they've thrown an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. Following the interception, here's Newton. Oh, a scrap for the football, and he's going to come down with it. And he's brought down after a very nice game. Defense. 
So even with the pass interference, it's a completed pass. They'll go ahead and just take the play instead. How about the effort? Making the catch despite the pass interference. Nothing else to be gained on the play. No need to take the penalty. The play stands. From the 50, Newton. Escaping the pressure right. And he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. Here's Nick Folk now on for the field goal. This will be spotted at the 37, so it's a 47-yard attempt. And this one is right down the middle. And the lead moves to 10 Zim. Still a little bit of time left here in the second quarter, but they do get three before the half and expand that lead. And they have to be happy about that. And we haven't met a team yet that doesn't put an emphasis on trying to get points on the board in the last two minutes of a half. They'll be real excited to have those up on the board. Here's Powell on the return. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons' offense at the line. To this point, the results have not been good. Two possessions, two turnovers. And that's obviously something that can't continue, but to go a little bit deeper on that one, I would think about some play calls now, not even necessarily to my best player, but to someone I can trust with the ball, try and get things settled down a little bit. From the 31, Ryan. And that'll be incomplete with just six seconds left on the clock. Intended target on that one, Russell Gage. And it's third down. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Now it's Ryan. To the right side and complete to Hurst. And he is going to have a Falcons first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. So we have reached halftime with our score 10-0. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome, everyone, to this abridged version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. It was an excellent first half from the former league MVP, Cam Newton. His guys lead it by 10 as we send it back out to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Gentlemen. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. It'll be Falcons football, and they trail here as we get back underway on EA Sports. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. At their own 19-yard line. Here comes the Atlanta offense now ready to take over here. They come out here with a zero on the scoreboard. What was said in that locker room? That's what I want to know. I would love to have been in there because we often have the feeling that there's a lot of shouting, screaming, people upset. But typically, halftime locker rooms are a lot more clinical than that. And in this case, are they upset that the plays weren't working because of execution? Or did they think just they were just bad plays to call? Yeah. We'll find out pretty quickly here if they felt like they had something going, but they just need to do it a little bit better or not. We'll find out. On first down, it's Gurley. Not much there. Maybe a couple up to the 35. Well, they still have time to get them established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. Looking sideline incomplete. Well, right now, the story of this game continuing to be the defenses because the offenses, they're finding it difficult to establish any rhythm whatsoever. I like how you come to us in praise of defense, Brandon, because that's exactly right. 
That was an incompletion force there, but we've seen it throughout this game. Both of these defense coordinators, they're a step ahead of their offensive counterparts. Well, that's one way to convert on third down, picking up 26 yards. And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker, and they did. I think you're exactly right. I don't think the coordinator's looking at his play sheet and trying to figure out which play will work well. He's trying to figure out how to get the ball to the playmaker that you just described. Looking down at that sheet, you find people plays, not necessarily X's and O's, and that's exactly what they did there. They'll let this go for the end zone. And this is intercepted, but they'll say out of bounds. Oh, very close to a turnover there in the end zone. The intended receiver was Laquan Treadwell. And that'll bring up second down. The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. Enough takes to start to have a good drive. Quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? No, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. So the sack pushes him back, and now third and long for Ryan and the Falcons. From the gun, it's Ryan. And this is going to be incomplete. He went with the dive look that time on defense, just flooded the field with defensive backs, blanketed everyone, took away all the passing angles, thus the incompletion. And here's Hoff Richter now, the punter, as he sends this one away. And this will be up to the ruling of the side judge here. He says it crossed out of bounds at the 16-yard line. Here comes the Patriots' offensive unit. They'll have it first here to begin the third quarter. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. Yeah, how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some gratitude <laughs> by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. James White, the ball carrier. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Oh, incomplete. Nearly the pick they needed. They would have loved one there, but at least it does get them to fourth down. The Patriots send out their punter as he'll kick it away for the second time. Fielded at the 20. 54 yards on the punt, 12 on the return. And the Falcons will be taking over first and 10. Atlanta prepped and readied for its next possession. And Charles, they're certainly still right in this game, but they need that offense to wake up and in a hurry. Yeah, I like the way you put it. They certainly did seem to sleepwalk a bit in the first half. Now that their defense has done its job, it's their turn now to go out and try and get some points. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. Got out of the pocket. Didn't look like he had anybody open, Charles, so just gets rid of it. And a good play by him. If no one's open and you don't have a running lane that you want to take, make the right choice, get rid of it, live to fight another down. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. It's caught, Jones. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. On first down, Ryan. And he gets this one to Ridley complete. And so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. I don't think there's anyone who could possibly doubt how fast he could run on the open field. But if there were, he silenced those thoughts there. And that's the kind of play where you have to kind of catch your breath afterwards to just give me a second here because when he shifted into high gear, he was an absolute blur out there. No substitute for speed. We talk about that all the time. The evidence was right there. And according to Next Gen Stats, his top speed on that one, better than 20 miles an hour.
It'll be first and goal when we come back. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll try and push it in with Gurley. Into a mass of bodies, and I think they held him out. They did. No gain on the play, and it's going to be second and goal. Leads to second and goal. They'll run with Smith. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. A lot of tired bodies on that field. But this is a big play, third and goal. They'll try and pick up the first with Gurley. I don't think Gurley got there. Looks like the defense held him back. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. And you know it pains them to be this close. And you know they're going to want to go for it here. But they absolutely have to kick the field goal and get this back to a one-score game. It's only logical. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. From the right hash at a bit of a tight angle. And this one is right through. And they get themselves on the board here. It's 10 to 3. All right, so they needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal there, maybe not exactly what they wanted, but the necessary first step. There's still time remaining, and there's enough time to get it done. They've got to get at the least a three and out here to get the ball back, preferably a takeaway. And a nice return sets them up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. New England trying to get a place on offense. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. They have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones in a first down. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now, I can be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. So the Patriots with the football as we get you reset. They've got a first and 10 as they look to try and finish this one off. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. You'd have to think likely another running play coming here, second and 11. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he stopped immediately there. Whistles now in a timeout. So defensively, they burn it here with 1.51 left. On third down, Michelle. And now running right through him. Yeah, I'll tell you, the effort sensational, but he may have come up a foot or so short of the line he needed. And here's a big one now. Try to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Open man is Asiasi, the tight end. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. That one a backbreaker as they wind up converting there on fourth. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day. One score game. First and ten here. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards. Back to the 33. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football. But that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. 50-yard attempt. And his kick is absolutely perfect. And they will stretch their lead to 10 now at 13-3. 
So barring something extraordinary here in the closing stages, that field goal should just about put this one on ice. Yeah, we've got to find two scores. So, you know, we're not going to exactly move it over there yet. It can be done, but boy, it's going to be a little bit of a stretch for them, isn't it? Yeah, they would have to move incredibly quick and have some luck, too. And that drives coaches insane, doesn't it? When they see that happen, it just, it just doesn't feel right, does it? Plus, you're giving up yardage. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at the 41-yard line. Ryan to throw. And that's incomplete. I'm not even sure I know who this guy is out there playing right now. This is very unlike him, one of the most accurate guys in the league. Totally off his game right now. I don't know. I was going to ask you what you pin it on, but defensively, they've been pretty solid. But sometimes, you know, those defenders, they get into the receivers pretty well. If they chip away at their timing, it's going to affect what you're going through the ball as well. The intended target was Calvin Ridley, and now it's third down. time dissecting the game film after this when I think the part of their plan was to hit them over the top of the deep ball. They've been unsuccessful all night. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the Patriots take over, and they're going to have terrific field position. Now the Patriots offense, they work their way back out onto the field. And they've got this one in hand. No timeouts remaining defensively, so this one should just be one kneel and then handshakes. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Charles, why didn't they just take the knee there? You're asking the question that I'm asking as well, because we've seen a lot of football where coaches decide maybe they get a little greedy. I don't know if they're doing it for stats or for what reason. We've seen it happen in college. How about in the NFL? The miracle of the Meadowlands. All they had to do was take a knee and the game was over. The Giants ran it one more time. Ball caught free. Phil Duffy picks it up and wins the game. What year was that? 1978. I think it was in November. And he'll fight forward maybe to the line of scrimmage, but that's all. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. And four. Now we'll get whistles, and they've signaled for a timeout. Not sure I see the logic in this, but we'll get a stoppage anyway with five seconds remaining. Oh, now look at this. They're lining up to add three more. A little insult to injury here late in the game. From the left hash, this will be a 52-yard attempt. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle. And the lead stretches, 16 to 3 now. 16, three. So as it turns out, a two-play drive resulting in the field goal. So they settle for just the three, but clearly right now anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off, but it's still eight up time, got points. So while it's not mission accomplished, it's darn close. So this will wind up a victory for the New England Patriots, and this was about as close to a shutout as you could get. I mean, barring a game where you only allow a safety, but this was the next best thing, just the field goal. That's all they gave up. Yeah, and you know something? They're going to be disappointed because they gave up the field goal. But deep inside, somewhat satisfied as well because you know how hard it is to keep people from scoring in this league. And the idea that you just gave up three, yeah, your coaches will get on you. They'll say, ah, we should add the shutout. But they also will be pretty satisfied with that type of a performance. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. The Patriots winners here at home as we say so long from Foxborough.